so we have done some of the few data and we know display the data by the showing them as the bar graph group bar graph or a pie charts and sometimes when we have the comments data we show it as the venn diagrams now let's come to the real statistics real statistics so we have several terms to represent the central or set tendency which are called what term can represent the central of tendency the, the middle the middle Wait, is it the middle yeah that kind of middle term. median the medians yes we have the term medians <clears throat> median what else that show some somehow it's uh, represent the central of tendency median means right oh median mean mode range mode and range mode and range <laughs> okay so can you guess what is the definition of the median how normally the middle of the numbers the middle of the number the middle of the number <clears throat> but here since we study about the statistics so it's a middle of the set of a data right of a set of data so that's called medians <coughs> how about the means <coughs> the mean is the average the mean simply means the average simply mean the average Okay, let's say the mean or the average is the measure of the center of the set of data. <coughs> How about the modes? The mode. The number seen the most. The, the, the data. Then we are study the statistics so we always put the word data the data that occur the most frequency the most frequency range is the highest number subtracted by the lowest number yeah the range is the oh, that are definitions. Range is the okay, that is the highest number subtracts subtract the lowest number. So let's give a little example first, then we can know what we need in modes. Sorry? Okay, I'll give the example and then like we, <coughs> we know how to find mean median modes. I think you already know, but somehow we need to reviews and then we go for the some word problems calculate means medians mode and range of these data sets <coughs> so we have the 
Okay, so first example, calculate the means, median, mode, and range of this set of data. Eight, five, three, nine, fifteen, ten, and means. Okay. First, how do we find the? How do we find the means? So, in order to find the means, we need to arrange the data in the correct order. 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 50, wait. The mean is 50.5. Wait, what? No, that can't be mean, right? Okay, I, I don't have the answer yet. So, your answer is 15.5? No, 50. 50. Wait. How's that 50.5? Huh? Okay, so I think since this is the first example, let's do it together. So the mean, right? The mean is the average. In order to find the average, we add all the data and divide by the number of data. Right? So we add all the data, which is age. Five, three, nine, fifteen, tens, and ones. We add all the data and divide by the number of data. So, how many number of data? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. Right? So, divide by sevens. The answer is. Oh, divided by seven. Yes. Divided by the number of numbers. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, 7.29. 7. Right. 7.29. So this is the means. So in order to find the mean, okay, we will give the example. Okay. And now, how do we find the medians? We arrange them into number order and yeah. you know, yes, do whatever you want with them. Mm -hmm. So, we arrange in a correct order and then we find the middle value. Is the answer eight? The answer is okay. I don't know, too. So, we arrange it in order. So, we have one, we have, and then three, and then five. Okay, one, three, five. After that is eight, yeah. okay, nine, ten, and fifteen. Okay. Okay. So then, what is the center? We always cross their size okay here and here here and here here and here so the leftover will be the medians 
So the median right. age. There's no mode. Is eight. But for example, if the set of data have uh, even numbers, for example, they have another number, let's say sevens, we can cross seven and eight, right? We can cross seven and eight. So will there be a median or not a median? Or how do we find the medians? We divide it by two. We divide by two. So we add these two number and divide by two. Well, for this is eight and what about modes what about mode yeah mode data it's, there's no mode there's no mode since this number occur only one time at the same time so there's no mode how about the range 14. 14. All right. So we take the highest number, subtract with the lowest number. So 15 minus 1, which is 14. Okay. Right. So, okay. so I think this, you have already studied. So let's come to the something hardest. Example is I want side wants uh, survey collects information about the total amount of time in Spend on computer each week. Only data from four city list below. Listed below. Let's put it smaller. This CT, this is computers time hour per week. So the question is a what is the mean for the for con for city and B if the means for all city in the country was sixteen point two hours. You predict 
the means of the city not list to be more or less than 16.2 hours okay. Now. okay so we have already done an example here the exercise one so a survey collects the information of a total amount of time so the yeah. A is 48.67. Right. Okay, okay, okay. B, I think, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. And find the hour of the new city. That's been spent on. Spent on the computers. So your answer A is what is your answer again, Sally? Forty eight point sixty seven. Thirty. Forty eight point sixty seven. Forty eight point sixty seven. Okay, and B, you need to be for, uh, 12, uh, 16.2. Would you predict the mean is not listed to be more than or less than, more than or less than 16.2? What was your answer? More than or less than? more than more than okay so more than and then find the hour of the new city that team spent on the computers what new city the new city not listed so here they say the new the city and not wait, wait. if the mean for the all city in the country was 16.5 Meaning all city, we don't know how many city. Would you predict the means of the city not listed? So there will be another city, another city E that not listed. But when we calculate the mean of these five city, it will be 16.2 hours. And then they ask to find the hourly of oh, not hourly the hour that the new city e that the new city e the team spent on the computers mm, it's a little bit yeah. So let's correct from A first. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, wait. What? <laughs> okay. So here, for the, they say the new city that not listed, that not listed, let us zoom, it's a city E, not listed. We don't know the data of the hour per week, but we know that the mean of this five of this five city at 16.2 16.2 and then reversely they ask 
what is this data? Okay. Most of the question they give the data and we find the means. Now we have one missing data and we have the means and we need to find the data max. The film, the city is not listed mm -hmm, no. to be. Yeah, that's the first question. The in B we have two questions. The first question: the city not listed to be more or less than sixteen point two, and you say more okay and then find that data actually like what they really want to be mean is find that data you say it's more so hmm, what is that what is that more 17 18 more hours yeah more hour than 16.2 right but they ask what is that Meaning, what is that? What is the hour here? So we predict the data in E to be greater than 16.2. Now, what is that data here? The next question, what is that data? 17, 18, 19, 18.2, 18, 5, 48. Point sixty seven. Technically, the mean would be added together and divided by five, right? Yes. For the next question, for question B, it will be all of these five data add up together and divide by five. Y by five, and they give the mean. Okay, we have the example something like this and then the exercise something like this it's unfair it's quite unfair i know it okay so let's do it together okay, okay. so for a in order to find the mean so a is not involved in I tried multiplying the mean by 15 by 5 and subtracting it by the thing in the big the, the other value. Uh, Does that make sense? So for the question B, we add all the data, divide by 5, will be equal to these means. Okay, let, let's check together. So the first question not involving with the five CT. We only have the four CT, A, B, C, and D. So what we will do is we add all the data, CT A, which is 15.3, CT B is 17.5, CT C is 12.4, and CT D is 13.9. So what we have now for question A is only four CT. So we need to divide by four, right? Then this will be 15.3 plus 17.5 plus 12.4 plus 13.9. It's 59.1. Divide by four, which is equal to fourteen point seventy eight. So it's fourteen point seventy eight the whole time. Yes, for question A, it's seventeen point. Uh, it's fourteen point seventy eight. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe how did you find this 
48.66. My my original answer? Yes. Calculator. Oh, okay, okay. So blame on the calculators. So B, first question they ask, will you predict to be more or less than 16.2? Me? Yes. Uh, answer is, I'm rethinking it. Your answer uh, is more. That is correct, more. Okay, good. Yeah, more. Why it is more? Because there's I don't know how to explain it, but there's like you can't. So there's probably a lot more cities that could account to more than sixteen point two. So since the since these four city only have the mean fourteen point seventy eight, so the next city have to be more than sixteen to increase the mean, right? To increase the mean unless the new city are more than 16.2 if it's less than 16.2 the means will be decreased the mean will be decreased for example if we add smaller smaller than number and then we still dividing so the mean will be it will become smaller yeah, it will be become smaller so since 16.2 is greater than since six sin since 16.2 okay so maybe uh that the answer since 16.2 greater than 14.78 so the num the the city that is not listed have to be more than 16.2 and now find the hour of the new city in order to find the hour of the new city we add the existing city of the new city so the means will be of the five city will be okay let me go to the next slide the mean of the new city. <sighs> it's a tiring day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the mean of the new city, the mean of the whole city in a country will be data of city A, let's say data of city A plus data of city B plus data of city C plus data of city D also with the data of city e that which is not listed but then we need to divide by one two three four five five correct five and we know that the mean of the whole country including not listed city will be 16.2 correct 16.2 yeah okay so the mean is 16.2 so we replace the mean by 16.2 city a is oh you you subtract it yes city a is 15.3 city b is 17.5 city c is 12.4 city d is 13.9 how about city e we don't know we don't know which we have to subtract yeah which we have to we, subtract six, oh. which we're we have looking to... for right so this is yeah. what we're looking for so let's denote it as x x x which we don't know right so we don't know right. that we, we give as one variable any variable can be x y z or a b c or d or e whatever we want divide by five so how do we yeah how do we find x now here 
Do we subtract 16.2 by 14.78? Or no? No. Now, we have this equation, actually. Like, this is equation, right? Right. How do we find x? First, the other side. Do the formula. Yeah. The other side has divide. So we need to through this division to the other side. Division to the other side is multiplication. Multiplication. So we multiply both sides by 5. 16.2 times 5. And the other side here will be 15.3 plus 17.5 plus 12.4 plus 17.9 plus x. Okay, so at the left side, 16.2 times 5 is 16.2 times 5 is 3.2 times 5. No, no, 16. Here, yeah, 16.2 times 5. What is your answer? 81. 81. Okay, now your calculator correct. <laughs> this time. And yeah. Here, at the right side, can we add them together? This is number, this is number, this is number, this is number. Yeah. So all these numbers can be adding together except for the variables. So when we add number and number, 15.3 plus 17.5 plus 12.2 plus 17.9 what is your answer i want to check your calculator as well we add all our numbers together right yes all these four numbers Fifty-nine point one. Fifty-nine point one. Okay, fifty-nine point one plus x. All right. Now we have eighty-one equal to fifty-nine point one plus x. How do we find x? Subtract. Subtract. So to find x, we take eighty-one subtract fifty-nine. About eighty-one point five. I mean, eight fifty-nine point one. Yes. So then it goes nine point nine twenty one point nine. Okay, fifteen and point one. Okay, twenty one point nine. So the city is not listed. E twenty one point nine. And our prediction was more than this, correct. So twenty one point nine is more than sixteen point two. Okay, our prediction is correct. Okay, so I have...